Hey everybody, welcome back to Thinking of Pi. Today we'll be taking a look at the PCF8591 module. This component is used for analog to digital conversion, or ADC, and it can be used for digital to analog conversion, or DAC. We'll be using the analog to digital function to read the voltage value of a potentiometer and then use the DAC function to output the value to an LED and control the brightness. Now, you could just hook up the potentiometer directly to an LED and vary the brightness that way. But that's not the point today. Today, we'll be explaining how you can use the PCF to read voltages and convert analog to digital and convert digital back to analog which gives the Raspberry Pi more ways to interact with the outside world. So let's go take a look at the circuit. All right, now that we've got it all put together, I do want to make some notes here. Um, we've got our potentiometer over here and our PCFs right here in the middle. Um, with the PCF, it is a surface mounted variation of the component. The manufacturer does make both surface mounted and through the hole. However, with this one, I happened to get a surface mounted one that was soldered to a PCB board and then they added some new pins that allow it to plug into the breadboard. This is a shift register that's through the hole. These make it a lot easier when you're trying to wire it up on a breadboard. Don't know why they gave me that one, but whatever. With the potentiometer, they all have three pins. They're numbered one, two, and three, three being right in the middle here. The current is gonna pass from one over to two. You turn it to vary the voltage or the resistance. This one goes from zero up to 10 kilo ohms. And then the middle pin here, number three, is then hooked up to any one of the pins on the Raspberry that we use to uh, actually read the voltage that comes off of it. We've got it actually hooked up to um, the PCF right here. So let's head over to the computer and we'll write some code and I'll show you how this thing works. All right, here we are logged into the Pi through VNC. Before we get started with our code, we do need to do a little bit of setup. So we're gonna go into our terminal window here and we're going to enter the command sudo raspi-config. This will open up the Raspberry Pi configuration tool. We need to make sure that the I2C communication here is enabled. Mine's already enabled, but if this is your first time doing this with I2C, make sure you do it, otherwise this project won't work. So we'll just back out of that with our escape key. And after you do that, you'll want to make sure you restart the Raspberry Pi so that the new settings take effect. After it's done restarting, we're going to use this command, lsmod grep i2c, and this will just make sure that i2c is running. Next, we'll want to make sure that we have the i2c installed. I don't think it's in here. I'll just, we're going to type sudo app get install i2c dash tools. And if yours is already installed like mine was, it'll say that it's already on its newest version. If not, it needs to be updated. Otherwise, again, this won't work. The last thing we're going to do before we get into Python is we need to find out the hardware address of the I2C port, and that is done with this one right here, I2C detect-y1. 
and there we can see that its address is hex 48. So let's go ahead and X out of our terminal window and we'll go over to our Python. I've already got the code put together here. There's not a whole lot to it. It's pretty simple. Um, we do have a couple of variables to find here at the top. We've got our address that we saw earlier. Um, we're going to have our data bus. Um, here, this one's just going to be reading the analog channel on the ADC. This one's going to be writing the DAC value. And then we're going to loop everything, reading the analog value, writing the digital value. We'll calculate the voltage. It's going to be updating every hundredth of a second. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm just going to make this down here a little bigger so you can see the values. Okay, so right now the potentiometer is all the way down at zero. We can see the ADC value of zero, voltage is zero. But if I reach over here and turn this clockwise, you see that value starting to go up. The LED is not lit up yet because the voltage is too low. But right here at about 1.68 volts, you can see a slight illumination of the LED. And then it starts to get brighter as we decrease the resistance. We do have a 220 ohm resistor right here. So that's limiting the amount of power going to the LED to protect it from overheating and burning out quickly. But we can continue to play with the potentiometer here. And you can see the voltage values changing. And the LED is responding accordingly. Now, like I said before, the purpose of this isn't to control the LED. It's to read these values because that will become important, especially with our next project. I'll have three potentiometers hooked up and be using those to control the PWM values on RGB LED. So that should be a good time. But anyways, that's, that's about all I've got for today. Um, I am going to put the data sheet for the PCF in the description of this video. So if you want to learn more about that, be sure to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to see your comments. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.